And this is Mailbag 19-ish. I even flipped the mat over. Therefore I can line this up with the camera. Take me a while to figure that one out. Okay. And empty. How long did this one take to get here? As long as it took me to drive down to uh, BC Robotics. It's a pretty simple one. I needed actually the switch uh, sooner than later and I also needed some mounting uh, parts. So let's just take a quick look at this switch. I think if I ordered correctly it's uh, on off on and let me just grab my meter Okay, those are connected. Nothing's connected. Go up here, and this one's connected. Yeah, I did order the right part. And it was $3.50. Should be... There it is. It's uh, 10 amps at uh, 125 volt AC. Maybe we give a couple other ones too. Okay. And for this one. Ah, uh, yes. Hit the on button. Okay. After that part. <laughs> um, I picked up the Raspberry Pi uh, Pico H uh, to fill the order. I'll put the specs up here. I haven't done much with these yet. And I've got to start learning them. And I figure I just pick up a couple here and there. Uh, that way when I start uh, destroying them, I've got a spare. Uh, next site, oh, and this was $9.95, I think. These here are M5 uh, 20 millimeters. I wasn't sure if I needed um, M5s, M4s, or M3s. Uh, the listing for this load cell actually said both M5 and M4. So it turns out it is an M4. So I've now got parts where I can start playing with these. Trying to find the metric stuff in our hardware stores is a pain and pricey. Um, for 10 uh, sets, uh, this was $2.95, uh, ditto $2.95, and for the M3s, they were $1.95. And that's it for this part. On to the next, and I'll clean off the table. And the next box from Newark. And this one I had to pay for shipping. Cut it away from yourself. Okay, I'm just going to take it off for a second. Paper. Paper. More paper. Some parts, more parts, and the last parts. Okay. Well, those are pretty self-explanatory. They are fridge diodes or rectifiers. Let me grab my book. These are 10 amp 
rated to 10 amps, 1K. Pop this out. Yeah, don't want to come out. There we go. up here see if you can see the lettering there's the positive on this side AC in the middle and the negative on this side gonna be for a power supply okay these are NTC thermistors uh, for the inrush uh, these particular ones are CL210. Uh, they're rated for 1.5 amps. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just pull out all of them because this is what this whole order is. I will keep them separate, though. And 120A. Who knows where it is in here? A bag inside a bag. I think you're getting the theme on this one. Ah, something different. Okay, I'm just going to put these on or in order on the table. I'll bring in the diagram in a moment. But these are CL-5060, uh, and 210 um, NTC thermistors. This is for uh, limiting the inrush. And the bigger they get, more they can take. Now I'm just going to stick this in here and hopefully it can be seen. Yeah, maybe not. Okay, that's better. So these ones over here, the 50s, uh, they're a dollar five a piece. When you initially the power gets turned on, they read seven ohms. And then they rapidly reduce down to very little. Uh, they can take 36 joules of energy. And that's important because you need to have them rated properly. Otherwise, they just get toasted. And then there's a steady state uh, current. So you can see, like, okay, the 50s were $1.05. 60s were $1.16. The 70s were $1.74. The 90s were $1.34. The 120As were uh, 46.3 cents, and the 210As were almost a buck. But the critical things is these parameters here. And I'll go into the calculations uh, in a moment. And then I picked up some uh, varistors. Uh, I just don't have any, so got them. So what these are going to be used for, and hopefully that's not getting totally washed out, um, AC in, fuse, NTC in front of the transformer. The transformer will actually have um, 
36 center tapped, so 18 on each side. I then go into that guy, come out into two caps. The caps will either be start around 6800 uh, microfarad. I've also got some from the previous mail bag, uh, 10,000 and 22. I suspect the 68 is going to work or the 10,000. I'm going to see what the difference is on the ripple coming out as you increase this capacitance. Then there will be an LM317 here uh, so I can adjust the voltage. Uh, probably will be aiming for 14 to 15 volts. And then the LM337 on the other side to give me the negative out. Now, I am not an electrical engineer or electronics engineer. So take this all with a grain of salt. I got this from the Amatherm website and it's their calculations. So the limiting thing is the transformer. It's a 56 watt. Uh, to calculate the resistance, that first parameter, one of the first parameters, you take your voltage, we're 120 here, RMS, times it by 1.414, and divide it by the maximum inrush current. Now, they recommend for this transformer a 1.8 amp slow blow. So, I'm sticking that in there. Calculation, 94.4 ohm. So it looks like the winner will be the 90A. Then you also have to calculate out what your steady state current is. Power out divided by VAC and your efficiency. So 56 uh, watt divided by 120. And yeah, apparently you use the 120 RMS. Uh, so it comes out to be uh, just under half a uh, amp output, or that's actually your input. That's on the AC side. So that's fine. Uh, it's well below the steady uh, state current uh, for 90A. And then the one thing, so you don't blow it up, total energy. They rate it for the capacitance times the voltage peak squared divided by 2. Now, if you stick 120, or um, it'd be 170th, 170, that's actually not the right number. You have, you have to take it on the other side of the transformer. At least that's what all the things I've seen say. So it's a total of 36 volts across from the two of them, because powering both uh, capacitors times 1.414, square it, times it by the capacitance, divide it by 2, and that gives you your joules. Uh, so if I can get away with 6,800 uh, microfarads, 8.8 .8, uh, joules. Uh, if I go to 10,000 microfarads, uh, it'll be 12.956, and the 22,000 microfarads, would work out to be 28.5. Now, taking those numbers and going back to this, good this way, good this way. So probably it'll be these ones I use and I'll keep the other ones for other projects. That's it.